welcome to engineers mindset academy so in this video we are going to be looking at the decisions motto using this particular question the question says a 240 volt shunt motor takes a total current of 25 amps if the field winding resistance is 220 ohms and the armature resistance is 0 0.2 ohm determine a the current in the armature b the back emf okay so this is the image of the dc shunt motor now let's pick at our given parameters we were given that the dc shunt motor takes total of 240 volts so this simply means that the emf okay this implies that the emf e which is the supply is equal to 240 volt we are also given that if the field winding resistance is 220 ohms so let's simply use rsh to be equal to that of the shunt field resistance it is given simply as 220 ohms and the armature resistance so ra for armature resistance was given as 0 0.2 ohms so these are the given parameters now we are asked to find the armature current and the back emf now this is the diagram of the dc shunt motor where this is the shunt field winding and this is the armature whereas this is the source powering the motor itself so from the question our source e was given simply as 240 volts so e here is 240 volts all right so that is the electromotive force or the source powering the entire motor now we are also given that if the total current okay we are given total current to be equal to 25 amps so let's use it for total current okay or i total to be equal to 25 amps so the decision motor takes a total current of 25 amps now the total current is a current flowing through the source okay so this is our it it was given simply as 25 amps that's the total current flowing through the source now this current flows through here okay when it gets to this node some of this current branches in here and some of this current flows and branches into the armature now the current coming into the field winding is called the shunt field current or ish whereas the current coming to the armature is simply called the armature current which is i a okay so this simply means that this simply means that the total current i t is equal to the sum of the shunt current and of course the armature current because total current flows to the source when it gets to this node it branches into the field winding and again it branches into the armature so that means total current is simply the shunt current plus the armature current so you simply have i s h plus i a so this becomes a total current now we are asked to find the armature current that's the first question so this simply means that the armature current i a becomes what the total current minus the shunt current so i have i t minus i s h this becomes our armature current so which means we need to find the value of the shunt field current okay so to find the shunt field current i s h is equal to the supply voltage all over the shunt resistor or resistance okay so this is equal to the supply voltage is 240 volts so we have 240 volts divided by the shunt resistance was given simply as 220 ohms so divides 220 so this simply implies that the shunt current is equal to let's obtain let's obtain 240 divided 220 so that simply gives us 1.09 so the shunt current is actually 1.09 amps. So this is the intensity of current entering into the shunt field. Now, having obtained this, recall, okay, recall that we said earlier that the armature current is given simply as the total current minus the shunt current. So this is equal to total current was given in the equation as 25 amps minus 1.09. So this simply implies that the armature current itself 
is equal to let's obtain 25 minus 1.09 and that gives us 23.91 so our amateur current is actually 23.91 amps so this is the value of the amateur current now the next question says we should find the back emf okay now the back emf or the total voltage the total voltage which is the source e is actually equal to the back emf eb plus the amateur voltage ia ra so if we make the back emf subject this simply implies that back emf eb becomes what total voltage which is the voltage of the source minus the voltage at the armature which is ia times ra where ra stands for the armature resistance ia stands for the armature current so this is equal to now the source voltage was given to us as 240 volts 240 minus we obtain ia earlier here simply as 23.91 so we have 23.91 multiplied now in the question the value of the armature resistance was given to us let's pull it back was given to us simply as 0 0.2 ohms so multiply that result by 0 0.2 so this times 0 0.2 this simply implies that the back emf eb is equal to 240 volts minus let's obtain 23.91 multiplied by 0 0.2 this gives us 4.782 so we have 4.782 so this simply implies that the back emf eb is equal to 240 minus that result so we have 235.218 volts so this is the value of the back emf all right guys so that's it for that question on shunt dc motor i will see you in the next video with more questions on dc motors please do well to appreciate our work by liking our videos sharing our videos to your friend commenting nicely and of course if you're new to the channel do well to also subscribe i will see you in the next video thanks